Salam sejahtera. Okay. Ini adalah video untuk kelas mengenai multimedia hardware. Okay. Chapter 4 dalam interactive multimedia application. So chapter 4 will be discussing about the input and output devices that we use okay, uh, in our multimedia applications. Okay, so why do we need input and output devices? It's because before we can use a computer to process our data, we need some method okay, to input the data. Or in other words, uh, we need a method to enter the data into the computer. So the device that we use will also depend on the type of data that we want to enter or input. For example, if it's uh, text, then we usually use a keyboard. If it's sound or audio, then we usually use a microphone. For artwork or graphics, we might use uh, graphic tablets okay, or even a, tab a pen. And also, once the computer has processed the data, then we need to produce the output of the results. Usually, we need to display the uh, output. Okay, Either we display it on the screen or we print it from using a printer and also when we play the audio from the computer then we listen to the speakers so the type of input and output devices depends on the type of data that is being processed so the term input and output are both used as verbs to describe the process of entering or displaying the data okay and then as nouns referring to the data itself entered into or displayed by the computer. Okay, what it means is sometimes we use input okay, and output, meaning that uh, this is the our method of entering or displaying the data. Okay, process untuk masukkan data, untuk keluarkan data, kita gunakan input dengan output juga. Then at the same time, um, when we want to say the the data that is being entered okay data data yang dimasukkan tu kita juga panggil sebagai input masukan okay so dalam english input output ni dia ada banyak maksudnya so this chapter we discuss the variety of peripheral devices used for computer input and output okay kita akan bincangkan pelbagai perkakasan-perkakasan yang digunakan untuk input dan output kepada satu komputer Okay, first we will look at the input devices. So the most common input device that is used okay, to enter data into the computer is the keyboard. The, key, the keyboard is used to enter text information into the computer. So you usually use it to type uh, data in the form of a report okay, and also to input uh, data in terms of numbers and uh, perhaps in, in symbol form. So the keyboard can also be used to type commands directing the computer to perform certain actions. Okay, we can also use the keyboard to enter commands ataupun arahan-arahan. So most keyboard consists of keys of the main keyboard. Okay, kekunci-kekunci yang utama yang kita gunakan untuk masukkan teks. Then we have the numeric keypad. Okay, numeric bahagian yang bernombor tu adalah untuk digunakan untuk masukkan data dengan lebih efisien. So kalau kita lihat pada keyboard yang di atas ni, okey, ini bahagian numericalnya. Okey. Kita lihat ini adalah bahagian numerical, ini adalah bahagian main keyboard. Okey, yang ada semua abjad-abjad tu adalah main keyboard kita. Ini this is the numeric keypad. Then we have a bank of editing keys, okay, used in the text editing. So this may be the functions F1 sampai F12 dekat atas tu. And also we have uh, enter home, okay. Ha, ini semua adalah bahagian editing keys. Okay, bahagian ini. Yang kita the home, end, delete, Okay, backspace, uh, those are editing keys. And we also have a row of function keys. Okay, so function keys yang F1 until F12 usually. Okay, so these uh, function keys are usually used to invoke ataupun untuk memulakan, me, melakukan fungsi-fungsi yang khusus. 
So most keyboards attached to the PC via a PS2 connector or USB port. Okay, yang lebih baru kita gunakan USB. So yang lama gunakan PS2 connector. And then for Macintosh, Macintosh computers usually are they are uh, special than PCs. They the old Macintosh computers use ADB or Apple Desktop Bus Connector. But new Mac keyboards have connected using USB. Okay, USB is Universal Serial Bus. So the second type of input devices, okay, uh, which is getting more popular, is the pointing devices. Okay, pointing devices, maksudnya dia boleh guna kita gunakan untuk menunjuk kepada satu bahagian saja. Okay, so the most uh, GUI atau kita panggil sebagai graphical user interfaces. Okay, tiap kali kita download sesuatu um, apa ni macam app. Okay, dia akan ada bahagian GUI bagaimana uh, ia berinteraksi dengan penggunanya. Okay, graphical user interfaces. Kebanyakannya sekarang ni menggunakan device untuk uh, jenis yang kita point. Sama ada kita gunakan pen okay, ataupun kita boleh gunakan jari sahaja. So pointing devices. Okay, kalau dalam komputer kita gunakan pointing devices such as mouse. Uh, and then we have pens. Okay, they are connected to the PC via serial ports. Kalau yang lama gunakan port series, sekarang ni dah tak ada dah port ni. Okay, kemudian untuk mouse dulu gunakan PS2 dan sekarang gunakan USB. Okay. Dan manakala untuk komputer jenis Mac menggunakan ADB uh, to connect the mice. Dan, tapi kebanyakan Mac yang baru ni sekarang ni sudah mula menggunakan USB. Okay, for input devices, okay, pointing devices, uh, some of the examples of typical pointing devices are mouse, okay, that's what we usually use, trackball, touchpad, track point, graphics tablet, joystick and touchscreen. So, we should discuss each of these pointing devices, okay, in our next slide. Okay, we begin with the mouse. Okay, the mouse is the most common pointing devices used with a computer. Okay, so we have many different kinds of mouse. And in the older ones, okay, we have a ball in the bottom of the mouse. Okay, this is the ball. Okay, so it is usually in the... It is usually uh, at the bottom of the mouse. And then it rolls on the surface as you move the mouse. Okay, so this type of mouse usually will gather dust. Dia akan biasanya mengumpul debu, habuk. Jadi selalu kena bersihkan. Okay, so sekarang ni mouse macam ni dah tak berapa digunakan. So kita banyak menggunakan optical mouse. Okay, dia tak gunakan rolling ball. Sebaliknya dia gunakan lampu atau cahaya. Okay, untuk track di mana uh, kedudukan uh, mouse tersebut. Okay. Uh, ini antara mouse-mouse uh, yang baru okay. Macam yang ni Logitech And then kita ada gaming mouse uh, 3D mouse okay. Dan ini Microsoft Arc mouse okay. Jadi kalau ini biasanya digunakan untuk penggunaan yang lama okay. Arc. Arc dia berbentuk macam bentuk arca Okay, dan uh, kebanyakan orang sekarang pun banyak menggunakan cordless or wireless mouse di mana dia tak ada wire sambungan okay, kepada PC. Dia menggunakan Bluetooth. Okay, kita cuma connect dia punya bahagian ni okay, kepada USB, salah satu USB okay, dan kemudian kita boleh gunakan. Tapi mouse jenis cordless atau wireless ni perlu ada bateri. Okay. Dan kadang-kadang pada mouse tu juga dia ada apa yang kita panggil sebagai button dan juga scroll wheel. Okay. Ini scroll wheel yang boleh kita scroll pada page. Okay. Kemudian biasanya button ni kita ada uh, left click dengan right click. Jenis pointing device yang kedua okay, ialah touchpad. Okay. Kebanyakan laptop Okay, kebanyakan komputer laptop ada bahagian touchpad ni. So, kita akan uh, gerakkan kursor pada skrin. 
okay, menggunakan uh, jari sahaja dan pada dan kita sentuh pada bahagian touchpad ni. Okay. Lepas tu ada butang dekat bahagian bawah. Biasanya dia macam bertindak seperti klik untuk mouse. Okay. Kita ada butang dekat sini ni. Okay. Butang ni bertindak seperti bila kita klikkan mouse. And touchpads have the advantage over mice that they take up much less room to use. Okay. So compared to the mouse, kita kalau even kita gunakan yang wireless mouse, kita perlu ada permukaan untuk kita gerakkan mouse tersebut. So kalau menggunakan touchpad, okay, kita tak perlu lagi permukaan tambahan. So ini adalah uh, satu touchpad yang baru. Okay, dikenali sebagai Mokibo Touchpad Keyboard Fusion. Dia kita cuma uh, jari kita tak perlu sentuh pun pada keyboard. Okay, kita cuma bergerak di atas dan dia dah boleh kesan pergerakan tu. Okay, so dia tak perlu lagi satu bahagian ruang tambahan untuk touchpad. Okay, kita cuma gerak pada atas keyboard pun dia macam touchpad. Next we have the track point. Okay, pointing devices yang ketiga, the track point. Okay, so some sub notebook computers. Okay, maksudnya ada setengah-setengah notebook, komputer notebook. Okay, yang dia agak kecil. Uh, especially IBM ThinkPad. Lepas tu ada juga yang jenama Fujitsu dan sebagainya. Okay, dia tak ada tempat untuk touchpad. So, dia letakkan satu alat yang dikenali sebagai track point. Okay, track point dia adalah satu butang getah di tengah-tengah keyboard warna merah biasanya. Dan track point ni dia bertindak seperti satu joystick yang kita gunakan, kita gerakkan dengan jari kita. Okay, macam joystick dan dia akan mengawal kesel pada skrin. Okay. Pointing device yang keempat ni jarang kita jumpa. Okay. Biasanya banyak digunakan oleh uh, gamers dan juga uh, yang yang mereka yang buat apa ni grafik. So the trackball is sort of like an upside down mouse. Dia macam satu mouse yang terbalik. Dia ada satu ball. Okay. Dan kita gerakkan atau kita pusing ball tu menggunakan jari kita. Okay. Dan ini yang akan menggerakkan kursor pada screen. So trackball have the advantage of over mice in that the body of the trackball remains stationary on your desk. Jadi kalau mouse tu kita kena gerakkan. Okay sana sini tapi trackball ni dia stationary. Dia kekal pada satu tempat. Kita cuma gerakkan bahagian ball tu sahaja. Jadi kebanyakan laptop yang lama. Okay laptop-laptop yang bar, yang uh, semasa tu baru dikeluarkan menggunakan trackball. So, tapi keburukan dia ialah roller dia tu atau bola dia tu senang kotor. Okay, dan bila kotor ia akan menyebabkan kursor kita tidak bergerak dengan lancar. Okay, ini adalah pointing device yang popular di kalangan gamers. Okay, untuk siapa yang suka main game, joystick. Okay, joystick dan juga game controller yang lain boleh juga kita sambungkan kepada PC sebagai pointing device kita. So, dia tak berapa uh, Biasanya bukan untuk gerakkan kursor Sebaliknya untuk main game Okay, pointing device yang keenam Touch screen Okay, ini kita boleh dapati dalam Kebanyakan handphone Okay, dan juga ada PC-PC tertentu Yang membolehkan kita uh, Gunakan screen tu terus Okay, sebagai touch screen So touchscreen is an input device normally laid on the top of an electronic visual display. Dia biasa satu lapisan, okay, di atas kita punya screen. A user can give input through simple or multi-touch gestures by touching the screen with a special stylus or one or more fingers. So kita boleh masukkan input, okay, menggunakan jari ataupun kita kena gunakan stylus, okay, stylus atau macam pen ni, seperti yang ditunjukkan di bawah. So, setengah uh, touchscreen tu kita kena gunakan uh, glove yang tertentu. Okay, tapi setengah tu hanya menggunakan pen yang tertentu sahaja. Dan touchscreen ni membolehkan kita berinteraksi dengan apa yang dipaparkan tu dengan lebih mudah. Okay. And so, touchscreens are common in devices such as game consoles personal computers, tablet computers, electronic voting machines and smartphones. 
Okay, pointing devices yang ke, uh, ketujuh, graphics tablet. So, graphics tablet consists of an electronic writing area and a special pen that works with it. Okay, so uh, during the online period, most of the lecturers are using graphic tablet. Okay, to uh, write formulas, buat pengiraan, matematik dan sebagainya, kami gunakan graphic tablet. So, there are two types of graphic tablet. One is... This is the more expensive one. Okay, it mirrors. Ataupun dia cermin apa yang ada pada screen PC. Okay, cuma kita gunakan satu pen yang khas dan kita boleh terus lukis seolah-olah macam kita lukis gambar yang sebenar. Kemudian kita ada satu lagi bentuk grafik tablet di mana pengguna, okay, dia kena gunakan mata dia untuk lihat dekat screen. Lepas tu dekat sini dia cuma lukis. Dia tak ada paparan seperti yang grafik tablet yang pertama ni. Okay. Dan kebanyakan grafik tablet ni dia sensitif kepada uh, apa ni pen kita. Okay. Kadang-kadang tu bila kita tekan pen dengan lebih kuat dia akan jadi lebih tebal. Okay. Macam grafik tablet yang saya gunakan ni dia tak sensitif terhadap uh, tekanan sangat. Okay. Yang set, kita kena setkan sendiri tekanan. So grafik tablet sekarang ni makin popular especially for uh, teachers who have to conduct online classes. Okay, the next input devices are scanners. Okay, scanner is a device that images a printed page or graphic by digitizing it, producing an image made of tiny pixels of different brightness and color values which are represented numerically and sent to the computer. Okay, what it means is a scanner, okay, it will scan a, a page or an image, okay, and then change it to a... Uh, digital form okay we can save it in a digital form so actually what happens is the text or the uh, graphic okay is changed into a digital form it will uh, made up of tiny pixels okay we will learn what are pixels later and then um, so when it's changed to digital it can be stored in the computer okay so we have handheld scanners like this Okay, these are called handheld scanners. Okay, handheld scanners. Then, this is the most typical one where we use a, nowadays printers, uh, they come, they are also scanners. Okay, and also this, uh, this automatically scans and then it interacts with the tablet. Okay, so whatever we scan here will automatically be converted in and displayed on the screen. So the next input devices are microphones. Okay, microphones can be attached to a computer to record sound or record audio. And usually what happens is the audio will be recorded into a sound card. Okay, the sound is digitized. Okay, sounds are in analog form. So it will be turned into digital form. Okay, into numbers and then stored in the computer for playback. Okay, okay this input device um, is not very common. Okay, it's called the MIDI devices or MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Okay, it is a system designed to transmit information between electronic musical instruments. So, musical instruments which are electronic, not analog. Okay, for example, we have the digital keyboard. Okay, digital keyboard for music. And also, uh, we also have some uh, guitars. Okay, that also can be connected to uh, a MIDI device. So a MIDI musical keyboard can be attached to a computer and allow a performer to play music that is captured by the computer systems. Okay, so when we play the music, it automatically is saved into the computer. So instead of recording digitized, uh, so actually when we interface a MIDI device okay, with a keyboard, uh, we are able to save the audio in the data, uh, raw data form. Okay, so we don't have to convert it into digital and then later convert it back into analog. Okay, so these are the examples of MIDI, um, MIDI sound. Okay.
Sorry. Okay, another example of a MIDI sound. Okay, so as you can see, the audio produced by uh, digital or electronic instruments are not as uh, melodious. At the point, they are, they are, the sound is different from an analog musical instrument. Okay, but uh, in the 90s, okay, in the uh, in the late 90s and early 2000s, MIDI devices were very popular to produce music. Okay, for uh, handphones, uh, we are, it's, but it's not popular anymore. So these are the input devices which are used okay, to input data into computer systems. Okay, so I shall stop here. Um, the next video, we'll, we will discuss about the output devices. Thank you.